Rim Country News brought to you by Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. Same stop, different horses since 1916. And by Terlucas and Brandt CPA PLLC, with a long history of providing quality CPA services right here in Rim Country. On this Wednesday, September 15th, for Tano TV, K Rim Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson with your Rim Country News headlines. Well, the U.S. Forest Service has decided to cancel the current 4 5 Phase 2 contract within the 4 Forest Restoration Initiative. Officials say the reason to cancel was to reassess the project when it comes to acreage, biomass treatment, road maintenance, and other economic factors. Congressman Tom O'Halloran says the decision jeopardizes the health of our forest and the safety of communities in the district. Senator Mark Kelly also expressed his displeasure with the Forest Service, saying, quote, The Forest Service blindsided Arizonans with their decision to cancel the long-awaited Four Fry contract. This is unacceptable and is only going to further erode Arizonans' trust in the Forest Service. Senator Kirsten Sinema echoed Senator Kelly's thoughts, saying, quote, this reversal comes at a particularly dangerous time for communities across Arizona as wildfire season gets longer each year. The Forest Service must take immediate action and provide Arizonans certainty that there'll be no further delays and that the agency will fulfill its obligation to our state. Well, even though the Forest Service canceled the contract, they say, quote, we are deeply invested and our intention is to work with our partners together on a new proposal as soon as possible. Well, the Four Fry Initiative encompasses the Kaibab, Coconino, Apache Sitgraves, and here on the Tano National Forest, engaging them in a collaborative landscape scale initiative designed to restore fire adapted ecosystems in the southwestern region. Well, taking a look at other news from around Gila County, proposals targeting specific areas for conservation in Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and federal waters off Louisiana's coast made their way into the gigantic budget reconciliation bill that Democrats are moving through Congress. Now, the portion of the $3.5 trillion package approved on a party-line vote by the House Natural Resources Committee last week includes nationwide measures meant to combat what they call, quote, climate crisis by limiting oil and gas drilling, improving coastal resili uh, resilience, adding offshore wind, and establishing a national civilian climate core. But that bill also sought to settle a handful of issues that are more local in scope, including the Oak Flat withdrawal right here in the Tano National Forest. Now, the bill includes a provision that reverses a land swap from the federal government to private copper mining interest in Oak Flat, an area within the Tano National Forest. A provision in the 2015 National Defense Authorization Law provided more than 2,000 acres of Oak Flat to Resolution Copper, a joint venture of mining companies Rio Tinto and BHP. The company has not started mining while a federal environmental review has been ongoing. The San Carlos Apache tribe and local activists opposed mining in the area, expecting that it would destroy areas of significance to Native American communities and popular recreation areas, including the cliff faces known as Apache Leap. House Natural Resources Chairman Raul Grijalva, a Democrat here in Arizona, has been working to undo the deal since its adoption. The bill would also protect about one million acres near the Grand Canyon that has been targeted for uranium mining. Well, coming up in Rim Country weather, warm and mainly dry conditions will continue through Thursday or Friday, but there is a slight chance for a change in the forecast this weekend. A complete report on what you can expect for the next seven days is coming up next. You're watching Rim Country News. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Jake started out as an Arizona stage stop way back in 1916, and folks have been stopping here ever since. Jake's also has been famous as a popular stopping spot for travelers headed to Rim Country or Roosevelt Lake. But as more people discover this historic stop, more and more, it becomes the destination. It was even featured in the 2008 movie Jake's Corner and later featured at the Sedona Film Festival. Ice-cold beers from the tap, imported or specialty beers, 
a generously stocked full bar, and great food that keeps you wanting to come back again and again. Enjoy a game of pool inside or step out and enjoy the covered patio and outdoor bar with live entertainment and much more. We hope to see you soon at one of the most historic stopping spots in Arizona, Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Hello, this is Brian Bowman. We have Pace and Tire Pros and Automotive. And one of the best things about having a business in town is the local community. Uh, we found Terlucas and Brandt to do our taxes. Amy's been a critical component for our business to be successful. We are very thankful for them and their professionalism. So if you're looking to have somebody do your taxes and you want to find somebody good that's willing to work with you, Amy is awesome. Terlucas and Brandt is who we suggest. Well, taking a look now at your Rim Country 7-day weather forecast, the center of high pressure aloft will remain located near the southern border of Arizona today. As a result, warm daytime temperatures will continue with another round of west to southwest afternoon winds at 5 to 15 miles an hour. A dry air mass will remain in place with some chilly overnight low temperatures dipping into the 30s in a few of the higher elevation valleys. Now for Thursday through Saturday, well, a weak low pressure system that's located just off the Southern California coast will make its way toward Arizona. Now for Thursday, this will mean high temperatures, maybe a degree or two cooler, and southwesterly winds more in the 10 to 20 mile an hour range. Southerly flow ahead of this low will begin to pull some moisture from over Mexico into Arizona. Now the main impact on Thursday is expected to be just a few more afternoon clouds. Uh, and that'll be especially over the mountain areas, you know, the higher terrain. Now the low will continue to approach Arizona on Friday, moving across the state on Saturday. Daytime high temperatures will continue to cool a bit each afternoon with afternoon southwesterly breezes remaining. Additional moisture will be pulled northward on Thursday and Friday and will combine with weak large-scale upward motion associated with the passage of the low, and that's going to produce a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Now, there's also uh, a capping layer aloft, so the National Weather Service says they're not really expecting a dramatic ramp up in storm activity, but under such conditions, we usually see some convection break through the inhibiting layer aloft. In general, what it means is we're only talking about a 10 to 20% chance for a few isolated showers on Friday and Saturday afternoon. From Sunday onward, models are now in good agreement with a stronger low pressure system moving across the Pacific Northwest and the Western states. Now, Arizona is going to be on the southern edge of that low, which will mainly for us just deliver locally windy conditions and a drier air mass. Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, enough dry air could filter into Arizona for fairly widespread freezes at the higher elevations. Well, meanwhile, highs and lows around rim country today, well, they should be looking something like this. Here in Payson today, it's once again going to be just sunny and warm with our high near 89 degrees. Light and variable wind becoming west 5 to 10 miles an hour in the morning. Winds could gust as high as 17 miles an hour this afternoon. Tonight, you can expect clear skies with a low in Payson around 58 degrees with a few light breezes out of the west. Up on top of the rim at Forest Lakes today, well, it's going to be sunny up there today too, but really some pretty mild temperatures. They're high today, right around 77 degrees, and they're low up there tonight, dropping to right around 45 degrees. Now, down in the deserts of Tano Basin, well, things pretty toasty down there still. They're still just hitting triple digits today and tomorrow with their forecast high topping out right at 100 degrees and their low tonight dipping to right around 69. By early next week, high temperatures in the basin should be cooling off about 6 degrees or so. And that's what's happening around Rim Country. For Tano TV, KRIM Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson. Make it a great hump day Wednesday.